Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Hello. Hello and welcome to Star Puppy. I'm Danielle, your resident weirdo. Welcome, welcome to, to the weirdness. This video is sponsored by me, aka my Patreon. If you'd like to be in this wonderful list of beautiful people, I suggest that you click here or check out the description box for a link to my Patreon, where you should join at the Starry Spaniels tier, like these very cool people have. If you'd like to check out exclusive content from me, uh, experimental content from me because I'm afraid to switch it up on YouTube, <laughs> early access and ad-free content and a very special guest that only my patrons get to see. I would highly suggest that you join us in the deluxe weirdness, AKA my Patreon. <laughs> now today is about my blowout routine. <laughs> If you've been paying attention to how I've been styling my hair, except probably a couple weeks ago when I <laughs> took on the twist out once more. In Batman's glorious war! I mostly wear my hair in two styles. Super blown out and super washed and gold. And that's like it. Now when I wear a wash and go, I probably wear it for like two weeks, maybe three if I'm feeling real lazy. <laughs> and with a blowout, I usually get to wear my blowout for like a full week and then, then I gotta do something with it. I gotta throw a braid in there or something. I wear my blowout more often than my wash and go because it's fall and I can get away with it. <laughs> what humidity? And so I, I have gotten pretty good at blowouts, for me at least. Several of you have asked me what my blowout routine is because going from this to this is a whole thing. <laughs> And especially because Fluff Nugget, my lovely head of hair, is a, ve a very specific kind of hair. By that I mean 4C everywhere, um, mong length, which is medium approaching long, Goo. extremely fine strands, that is to say every strand on my head is skin tea. And as far as density, the okay guys, the jury is so literally still out on that. <laughs> I really want to say a definitive answer, but I really don't have one. Should I, is, is that like a video I should make? Should I try to figure out what density my hair is? I don't really know how I would go about that, but it might be funny to watch. Let me know in the comments. And I've realized that like my head of hair isn't as rare as I thought it was through this channel and your comments. Here's what you want to do. You wanna have a solid wash day. The key to a good blowout is to have an excellent wash day. Focus on moisture and cleanliness, and then patience enters the chat and takes its good sweet time. So first and foremost, you wanna have a nice pineapple-y, viciously, look at this. This was just decoration. It was already doing this. I'm a pineapple. I don't know who I think I'm playing. Is there a stick in my hair? Yup. I'm a wear pineapple. Now, if you haven't seen my updated wash day routine, I'm gonna link it right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clarifying shampoo because we really want the hair to be super clean and my hair is uh, filthy at the moment. Um, <laughs> it was then I noticed my mic died as editing Danielle and there is nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. Then I'm going to do a deep conditioner with the 4C only deep conditioner, baby, yes. Um, apply some heat with my uh, soft bonnet. After that, I'll see you back here for the blowout routine technique. <laughs> Danielle coming at you all of a sudden. 
Now, the sun was setting and I had to go fast, so that's why I'm here. Now with each section, I wanted to really break down my exact technique. So as you see here, I'm doing kind of a tension method, kind of an anti-comb method. Uh, I refuse to comb my hair or like brush my hair straight off. So I introduce the brush to my hair by gently lifting it up and placing it on the bristles. And then I just let it sit with the tension method for like a long periodically amount of time. Now, as you can see that seems to have done nothing but it did not it took it from wet to damp and that's something so now that i feel that my roots have been expressed in a in a heat way i feel confident to actually brush a little bit but you know what we're gonna hit those roots again with that tension method because what are we doing keeping every strand of hair we can that's right so then i move to the end of the shaft of hair and i just wait Now see, see what happened? Now we're going right back on them roots, that's right. <laughs> I have to exercise a lot of patience with my hair, but because I have such fine, fine hair, I have to be really patient, otherwise it's gonna snap. See, those last 30 seconds, it makes a big difference. So even if it looks like it's not doing anything, just be patient. So for the last hit, I just go tension method, very gentle combing brushing, and all of a sudden, it's all dry and it's pretty dang straight now, ain't it? So that was about five minutes for one section, so you can imagine how long the rest of my head is going to take. <sighs> but it's worth it. Enjoy this horribly sped up footage. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you check out my Patreon and subscribe and like below. I make content like this on Tuesdays at p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for joining me. This has been Danielle, your resident weirdo. Star Puppy signing out. Say it with me now, Star Puppy. Away! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.